Hi, my name is Amber Bell and I'm a senior marketing major at Louisiana Tech University from Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to compare my life to something, something that you probably have never heard anybody compare their life to before. Do you believe in miracles? Have you seen a miracle happen or experienced one yourself? Do you believe that miracles only happen in fairy tales or movies? If that's so, you're looking at one right now because my life is a miracle. Oxford Dictionary describes a miracle as a surprise and welcoming event that cannot be understood by science or nature and that is a work of a divine agency. Similar to this definition of a miracle, that's my life. My life is exactly a surprise and welcoming event that can't be described by nature or scientific laws and that is a work of a divine agency. My first point is the surprise and welcoming event. You probably look at me and think I'm a normal girl and probably would have never guessed that I was born at one pound 11 ounces before dropping down to one pound and four ounces. That's pretty much like a pound of hamburger meat. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's, it's that light. I was that small and that light. And although I was born at three months too early, I was a very surprised event that happened to my family, but I was so welcomed with open arms. My second point was that it cannot be understood by nature or scientific laws. I was born super, super premature, three months too early. I was born at six months instead of nine, and I had no chance of making it. Doctors told my dad, even before I was even born, when my mom was being prepped for surgery, that I wasn't going to make it, and that there was no way that I would be okay, that there was no way that I would survive, that I would die, and that there was nothing that they could do. They said that if I did survive, that I would encounter so many medical problems, like I would be blind, and I would have cerebral palsy, I probably wouldn't be able to walk, I, I wouldn't be able to do anything on my own. But despite all those things, I'm here right now. My third point is the work of a divine agency. There is no doubt in my mind that by the grace of God, I'm here today. There's no doubt in my mind that the divine Lord delivered me here. And I'm, I'm so happy to say that I had, you know, family and friends praying for me. I ended up having a heart surgery at a day old. I, my heart valves wouldn't close correctly and, and I had to have surgery. I ended up having eye surgery because my retinas detached and I was gone blind. Um, I had a brain surgery because my brain started bleeding. And there was nothing else that anybody could do but pray but pray that everything would be okay. I had families praying for me. I had friends praying for me. I was on the Children's Miracle Network and people were praying for me. And that is the work of a divine agency. That prayer and that, that continuous prayer, after three months, I was okay and God pulled me through. In conclusion, I just want to say that Albert Einstein always says that there's two ways to live your life. One is that nothing is a miracle, and the other is if everything is a miracle, and that's how I choose to live my life. I choose to live my life expecting greatness, expecting miracles, because after 22 years, I'm about to graduate from college and start this beautiful future that, that nobody ever thought I would have. Start this great future that I was never even promised. So that's why my life is a miracle. I was an extreme surprising event. Nobody can understand what happened by science or by nature, and I was also just a work of a divine agency intervention. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I cannot wait to get to know each and every one of you. Um, this is my keyword card that I used for this presentation.